Hey beautiful queens, welcome back to another video on my channel. So we hit into fall quite a while now, but these are the nails that we'll be attempting. So let's go. So if this is your very first time here on my channel, hi, welcome to Bear Beauty. Thank you guys so very much for clicking on today's video. Don't forget to subscribe, like on your way out, and also follow me on all my all my socials. That's Instagram and TikTok at Bear Beauty Services. In prepping my nails, I'll push back my cuticles because I have not done that in a while, and it was like my first time back doing a nail set. Um, I'm push, I'll push back the cuticles. I was then going with my nipper to remove the excess, and then I'll go in with this bit here. This is a buffing bit. I have not used this. This is actually my first time using it, and it did the job. I went around the cuticle area, removing what was left and after which I was then going with some top coat applying it to each of the nails and I'll cure that for 30 seconds we're going to take peaches and cream and coffee for this one so I'll place my bead just above where my artificial nail and my nail meets and then I will feather that out a bit and then I'll go in and create my smile line I was honestly trying to apply my principles when i was doing this but it was a little bit different because it was a much longer french it was a deep cut french and i wanted it to be as perfect as possible so not all french um apply the same principle and same rule this was quite different and much more harder i guess because i was working with a lot more product and i wanted to ensure that i laid my apex um perfect this was definitely a teaching moment for me because I thought I, this was an easy one and it was so hard. It wasn't so hard, it was a hard for me because this was the very first time that I was ever doing something like that. Give me acrylic and gel, I will slay that. But for a longer French, it took a little while for me to kind of grasp the concept of knowing where to lay the apex and creating my smile line or that should have been the easiest part it's just the fact that i needed to know how to lay my apex so i do this in three beads you can do it in two if you are that great but man it was hard work and especially because this was my very first time going ahead doing a deep cut french um i decided to work in three beads because i don't know how it would would have turned out and i took the safe routes so if this is your very first time do three beads and let me know if you think you can control a uh, one bead hats off to you girl hats off to you so i'll do the same thing on each of the nails in a much faster pace because it's quite repetitive um you guys will see my trial and tribulation throughout all of the nails because every one of the nails something was done differently or close to something differently lie <laughs> this wasn't too bad it was not too bad so the next set i'm gonna take is to go in with my emery board to straighten up these smile lines so this is whenever you're in doubt take that emery board you see i always was bracking in my other videos like i don't necessarily need to take my emery board but i felt the need to this is a moment i am very it's down about it take your emery board to sharpen up to fix it especially if you're in doubt about these nails i was quite in doubt as i had said before that this was actually my very first time going in doing this type of french a longer french it took a lot of me. it did so thank god for these emery boards i went in sharpened them up to the t to how i wanted them and they're looking quite fine after which we'll then go in with coffee and I'll place that at the very tip. The whole application, the combination of both 
peaches and cream and the coffee was a perfect combination they complemented each other so so well i enjoyed doing this set, this set actually So these are the nails, they're looking quite on point. So now we're going in with coffee, as I said before, applying it to the smile line to complete these nails. Actually, when I, I thought about doing coffee, actually, is that I thought about um, encapsulating while I went ahead, but I felt like because it was pigmented enough, I felt like it was all right for me not to encapsulate and that was one of my downfalls. I should have actually encapsulated this for it to be a little bit more on the stronger side. So, but it wasn't that bad. I mean, it wasn't that bad. If you like nails that are super thin at the end, then that's you. If you like a little bit, a nail, the nail a little bit more structured and balanced, then I think you should have gone in with your clear. And what I said, these colors complement each other so well. Okay, okay, I'm in love. I am in love. I think I felt like I should have left this at this stage, but no, you know, my extra, and I have to go that extra mile. So, yeah, so you're gonna leave it at that. I will go in with my emery board to debug these nails a little bit. There was not much that I needed to debug, anyway. So, I went in with the emery board. After which, I will go in with my e file just to take down the nail a little bit more, especially where I had laid my peach and cream because I was very unsure of how to lay my apex now I have guys the concept of doing that I am Gucci so I go in with my e file going around the cuticle areas on um, the side walls on the little nails just ensuring that everything is good after that I was then going with my buffing block which I don't show you all that extra step go ahead and wash my hands after and then we're going to get into the nail art portion are the colors that I'll be working with from Anself, brown, orange, a lighter brown with some gel top coat and then I'll go ahead and marble each color after which I will then go ahead and place some blooming gel onto the, the French portion where the chocolate, the coffee is, placing it right there. I wanted it to have a little bit of a flavor to it but I don't know what happened. I guess my marbling with the three colors weren't that great or just picking up the product was not great. And I actually changed my method through. After completing each of the designs, obviously, I decided to go in with a nail art brush, just picking up the nail, the colors differently and applying it and swirling it all over and it gave me what I wanted. The only thing is that I wanted the orange to be a bit more pigmented, but I was too lazy to go in and find another color to come and marble on these nails but they, these nails turn out so bomb 
so so bomb after which one thing that i do want to warn you is that when you're going in with a blooming top coat ensure that it's not bubbly or too thick onto the nail because it can create a hump i've learned so many times and i don't know why i keep on making that same mistake after which you're through with the blooming the blooming will start spreading the color so you want to ensure that you clean up as you go along you'll see me do it throughout the video i will clean up the sidewalls of each nail because it will take away from the the shape of the nail so I'll do this on each other nail and then I will not cure actually going with my nail art brush just putting on the nail the colors differently swirling them around getting you know what I wanted at the first after which I will then cure for 60 seconds and then I will add some force to these nails to add a little flair to it it was so bomb I liked it I enjoyed it I must say I mean every video that I do I enjoyed it because it must have to be something that I do enjoy for me to continue with this process to uploading this so after this I will then go in with my matte coat I thought it would have given me what I wanted with the matte but it was not giving me what I wanted so I went ahead and just applied the top coat at the smile and area to brighten my marbling and they fall onto the nail cure that for 60 seconds on my cuticles and that's it my nails are looking bomb I'm so in love with them if you want to see the final reveal go ahead and follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Bear Beauty Services you will see the full pic on there the full quality of the picture it looks so bomb while at the same time i'll be posting a pic in here and videos of how the nails are looking i love them welcome to fall <laughs> this is actually my favorite fall fall set of this year i'm really excited about you know just doing fall designs let's see how i do then to wrap up this video i hope you have learned something from today's video or you have just just you just enjoyed the video overall go ahead and subscribe like comment down below if you haven't already done so follow me on all my socials that's instagram and tiktok at bare beauty services and i'll see you guys in the next video